Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. In this video I'm going to be showing you my rice water slash herbal rinse routine. So this recipe is a little bit different to what you might see on YouTube for rice water recipes. As some of you may know, rosemary and sage are really good for hair growth as well. So this recipe is a two-in-one. So really it's a mega, what I like to call it, it's a mega recipe for hair growth. And I believe that this recipe has really helped me achieve waist length hair throughout the past year. And this is also one of the changes that I've made in the previous year compared to other years. I use this recipe every two weeks or so. So in this video, I'll be showing you how I prepare my rice water and how I use it. So for this recipe, I'm using half a cup of rice and I'm just placing that into the bowl. And then I add some water into the bowl to just rinse off the rice to get whatever dust or dirt that might be on the rice because you don't want that in your rice water. And then I just drain that off and then replace it with some fresh water. I'm using about a cup and a half to two cups of water on top of the rice. And then I just put the rice to the side to soak for 30 minutes so that all the nutrients can be released into the water. And the next thing I'm doing is peeling the grapefruit. You only want the peel of the grapefruit, not the actual fruit itself. So you can go ahead and eat that later for a snack if you would like to, if you like grapefruit. The reason why I'm using grapefruit is because in the Yao recipe, they use pomelo fruit, but I don't have that locally available in my supermarket. So the next closest fruit is grapefruit. So yeah, I'm just peeling that and then placing that into a bowl. Then I add my rosemary and sage into that bowl and that has also been washed and I just place all those ingredients into the pot. I'm not going to go into too much depth of each ingredient just because I'm trying to keep this video short and sweet. I'm just going to outline the main benefits. So with the pomelo peel or grapefruit peel in this case, it contains high levels of antioxidants, vitamin C and it has antibacterial and antifungal properties. The rice water benefits for myself, I believe that it makes my hair stronger and it helps my hair to grow long. Some people say it helps to dangle the hair or it makes their hair smoother or increases the shine. Some people may use rice water without fermenting it, but fermented rice water has more benefits. A substance called inositol is in rice water and is able to penetrate damaged hair and repair it from the inside out and also helps to prevent hair from future damage. Rice water also contains many vitamins and nutrients, amino acids, B vitamins, vitamin E, and antioxidants. So once the rice has been soaked for 30 minutes, I go ahead and scrub the rice as if I'm cleaning it to cook it. And this is just to release more minerals and vitamins into the rice water. And then I drain that water off into the pot where the grapefruit, rosemary, and sage is. And I'm just breaking up the grapefruit peel a little bit because it was a little bit too big for the amount of water that was in the pot. And then I add a few drops of lavender oil. The lavender stimulates growth and it has antimicrobial properties which help to prevent bacteria from growing. And it helps to prevent itchy scalp and dandruff. It also reduces inflammation and increases circulation which promotes a healthy scalp and encourages hair to grow thicker. Once I have all the ingredients in the pot, I go ahead and just boil those out for about 10 minutes or so. This is just to make all those minerals and vitamins seep from the rosemary, the sage and the grapefruit. Just like, you know, when you're brewing a tea, a herbal tea, you need that hot water to brew. And so it's just oozing all this goodness. The natural oils in sage strengthen the roots and stimulate hair growth. It's also useful for treating dandruff and eczema. It's beneficial in alopecia and thinning hair as well. The natural oil strengthens roots and stimulates healthy hair growth. It moisturises. It also helps to remove product buildup and it makes hair soft and shiny. And it's also used to darken grey hairs naturally. The rosemary stimulates and improves blood circulation, which encourages hair growth. It also has anti-inflammatory properties, which helps soothe and nourish the scalp. It helps to unclog the hair follicles it helps to treat dandruff. It also helps to moisturise the scalp and it has antifungal properties which prevents flaking and dandruff.
Once I'm done with the seeping process, I go ahead and transfer all of that into an airtight container. All the peel, the rosemary and sage all goes in there and I stored mine underneath the beds. You want to store it in a cool room with no direct sunlight or direct heat. And I leave mine under the bed for about two weeks. I have pushed to a month, but I don't feel like it's necessary to do a month. So I think two weeks is sufficient, even a week. So I used up this batch that I made in the video and I made another batch. So this is the other batch that I made. It's double the amount. So I'm only gonna be using half of this for this week. And then I'm just gonna close it back up and I use the rest for another time. So what I'm doing is I'm just opening it up and then I take the strainer and I put it on top of a bowl and I just strain off the grapefruit, rosemary and sage because now I'm going to put it into my spray bottle to spray into my hair. And this is me just doing a smell check. It doesn't smell bad at all. It just smells a bit citrusy. It just smells a little bit off. But most of all, you can smell the citrus from the grapefruit. So I did start applying it to my hair with a spray bottle, but it started to block this one up because the nozzle hole is not that big at all. So I transferred it into this jug here and I'm just gonna pour the rice water into the bowl and then dip my hair into it that way. And it worked better this way because I got an even distribution of the rice water on my hair. And I'm leaning over into the bathtub so it's not making any mess at all. So yeah, I'm just covering my hair as if I'm rinsing it off with water. And I just keep doing that until my hair is fully saturated. And then I tie up my hair, squeeze off the excess so it's not dripping down my back or my face. And then I apply some cling film to my head and I leave that on for about 30 minutes. And once the 30 minutes is up, I just continue with my normal wash day routine. So after the rice water, I will go in with a nourishing deep conditioner as well. If you'd like to see my wash day routine, I'll link it in the description box below. And that's all there is to it guys. So I've been using this recipe for over a year now. And as you can see from the slideshow in the beginning, I can really see the difference in my curl pattern last year compared to previous years. And I also achieved waist length hair last year for the first time in 10 years. And I really do believe that this recipe was a big contribution to achieving that. So yeah, that's my rice water slash herbal rinse routine guys. So if you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up. And subscribe to my channel if you want to see any more videos like this. Thanks for watching guys and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye!